I, I really had no idea what I wanted to do, but now that I've picked what I want to do, it's architectural engineering or something like that, building and structure or something like that. After being in this project, it has given me a chance to look back and maybe think about a career in engineering. Uh, I always wanted to be a doctor, and I, I've gotten into the Air Force Academy, and we have to take engineering classes at the Academy no matter what we choose to go into. So I think this will help me out there. So no, it hasn't changed my career plans, but it's helped me out a little bit. But then there's also the possibility I might go into biomedical engineering. So if, it, if I do do that, then this will help me a lot. At the next meeting, the team broke up into smaller groups to brainstorm. They only concentrated on the concepts that were common with all the robot designs from the previous day. This allowed all the groups to focus on the same issues and come up with a final design. All the final design proposals were presented to the team and the engineers determined which designs were feasible. Next, several prototypes were built so the team could test each concept to make sure it worked. The team felt that being able to drive the robot quickly and accurately was one of their most important strategies, so they built a prototype mobile base so that they could begin practicing. Much of the time, the team was divided into separate focus groups but at the end of each meeting, the groups would come together and present progress reports. I volunteered because whenever I was in high school, I had an opportunity to participate in a similar uh, experience, and I, it was very rewarding for me. Uh, after all the years that I have uh, lived since then, I've kind of come to see uh, the engineers that were working with me, what they've gotten out of it, uh, what they put into it, and I appreciated that, and I wanted to put it back in. Uh, maybe somebody will get a um, uh, better idea of what it's like to be in industry, and I wanted to be a part of that. It was decided earlier in the project that the team's primary strategy would be to get the small balls into the bottom of the goal faster than any of the other teams. A prototype robot was built that had a beater bar and basket design to see how fast the small balls could be collected. This concept worked great for picking up the balls and could also discharge the balls by reversing the beater bar rotation. The team decided this would be the final design and they came together to build the final robot. The team has spent many hours in the draft room and machine shop to achieve this goal. about U.S. First, we were all excited about the possibility to participate in the competition. But we knew it would be a strain on our engineering resources, it would be time consuming, and it would be a challenge to work with high school students. But when you see seasoned engineers that face complex problems daily that are now getting excited about what sprocket to put on a drivetrain, you know you press somebody's hot button. And when you see students take charge in situations that would intimidate most adults, that's evidence that the process achieves what it sets out to do. On behalf of the entire Baxter Bomb Squad, I would like to thank Dean Kamen and his U.S. First organization for their desire to keep engineering and technology first in the U.S. I would also like to thank Fern Laux for providing us the opportunity to participate in the competition. Mm -hmm.